Hello viewers, welcome to another SMC tutorial video. In today's video, I'll be showing us all how we can download and use the Soulfair wallet. Just like the previous video we had on Phantom, Soulfair is a wallet that you can use for all your Solana transactions, your Solana investments and all that you need to do on the Solana ecosystem. Let's get right into this video. First of all, you need to download your Soulfair wallet and to do this, you tap on the Play Store apps depending on your device and then you search for Soulfair and you then you download the wallet. Once the wallet has been downloaded, then you open up the wallet, right? And you you will be required to create a new wallet here the setup has already been done the initial setup has been done that's why we can already see the home page but if you're new to software you'll be required to create a new wallet and show you write your phrases down and keep them in a safe place over the past few weeks we've seen a lot of believe believers lose their tokens and it's been heartbreaking because this is something that could have been avoided or may have been avoided right because probably we clicked the malicious link or someone just had access to your wallet or they had a wallet hack and this is something that we need to avoid in our community so please ensure you avoid your wallets being drained and keep your phrases in a safe place and practice caution in the web tree space okay let's continue with this video once you're on the home page you can then send funds into your wallet by tapping on receive you can then move funds from probably a centralized exchange by announce kucoin by beat mxc wherever you have those funds you can move them into your wallet so they can start using wallets for your transactions and also you can send out tokens right you can send out um tokens whatever tokens that you have on your wallet just input the address on here and then you will send out your tokens and then asset this is where your assets will be displayed so once you send in solana your solana will be displayed here and other tokens that you eventually would want to buy using this wallet you will see them all here then staking if you tap on staking you can stake your solo and end rewards in activity there is no activity found on this wallet just yet because this is a new wallet and once you start making transactions all your activities will be displayed here so let's see what other functionality we can work on using this wallet so if you tap on this hamburger icon at the top left here here you can edit your wallet right okay so once you tap on edit you can tap on this three dots and then you can always rename your wallet okay so you can just tap on rename and your wallet will be renamed probably you just want to change it to something more personalized and then you can always add new wallet okay once you tap on add wallet you can always um, import your private key from a previous wallet if you just tap on import private key you just paste your private key and then the wallet will be imported um also another thing you can do when you tap on these three dots is to export your private key so once you tap on export private key your private key will be displayed and then you can always remove your wallet also you can this are already imported wallet if you notice these are imported wallet these three wallets here wallet one essentially that one wallet two they are imported wallets using private key for recovery phrase you can tap on these three dots and you can always check your recovery phrase right you can just tap on export recovery phrase and then you can it would show your recovery phrase in case you want to use your recovery phrase on another wallet this is where you have to get it from okay guys so let's get back to the home page on this on the home page you can see that this four boxes beneath this is where you would see all your nfts all your collectibles if in case you meet any nft this is where it will be visible and then this reversible arrows this is where you swap so to other tokens probably usdc data on the solana network and other tokens that you want to dig in on so this is where you can swap so to those tokens and then we also have the in-app browser so probably you want to get in on some tokens with the d apps you want to um, use radium to buy some tokens this is where you do that you just input the url link here and proceed with your transactions then for settings this is where you can also still personalize your wallet to your taste you can edit language the theme change the currency you want to work with here you can manage your your contacts wherever you want to add addresses that you'll be sending funds to you can always add them on here and then notifications to get important updates can enable notifications here security and privacy you can just take your time to go through all of this and then see how you can just adjust the whole settings to suit your individuality so yeah this is basically the basic functions we have on the sofa wallet and i hope this video has been helpful guys next video we will be talking about how you can make transactions with a bot using the sofa wallet or you can just use the bank bot to make transactions and all transactions will be displayed in the sofa wallet so ensure you stay tuned 
to this channel make sure you follow this channel subscribe to this channel like this video and if you have any questions do make a comment in the comment section and someone will respond to you thank you for watching and see you in our next video